Good evening, guys. So in today's video, I wanted to explain to you guys how the public transportation system works here in Milan. Uh, we've used it a couple of times now, we're getting to know, we've tried probably every single transportation, public transportation there is here. So I want to just explain to you guys how it works and how, you know, the subway works, how the bus works, the tickets, where to get the tickets. Just because I and Yana thought I struggled to figure this out once we got here and I always feel like that's one of the main things they want to figure out when you move to a different place. Is how does the public transportation work? So today I'm taking you guys out with me showing you guys how the tickets are going to be bought i'm going to show you guys on the screen uh and just the whole process because we've been taking um the bus the subway and the tram today so just stay tuned i will explain i will add sound and just show you guys visually and also this right here is what the app looks like as you can see on the app um so the app is called ATM Milano, as you can see. Also choose the tickets, and then you choose what kind of ticket. You see that there are, you choose purchase tickets, and then you see the zones. So obviously we are in zone two and three mostly, and one obviously. Really head outside of that, so we don't really have to worry about changing the zone. And then you choose if you want it to be uh, the ordinary ticket for two euros, the daily for seven. And then Carnet is 18. I don't, I'm not really sure what that Carnet means, so I haven't used that as yet. Um, but yeah, this is just how the page will look like. You choose which one. It takes you to the payments. And once you've gotten through, you validate the ticket afterwards. As you can see right here, um, you go in, you pick the ticket, you purchase. Uh, I'm not going to go through the purchasing product because obviously my card will be there. So, uh, But yeah, so that's... Basically what you do, you just validate the ticket afterwards once it's purchased and you push it, you push yes to validate and then it's validated for 90 minutes is the ordinary ticket for 2 euros. If you choose the daily, it's obviously 24 hours uh, and then I'll show you guys what happens once we take the tram. How Now the, for the bus and the subway and the tram, so stay tuned. So here you can see the tram rolling in. We have already validated the tickets. So basically here you just have to well this time unfortunately we didn't know but we have to push uh to open the doors but usually they just open by themselves and there's a lot of space on the tram these days especially when we take it uh, you just have to make sure to um push the stop button because uh, it doesn't always stop if it's a lot of people it most likely does but if not remember to push stop Then it's the subway. As you can see, Yana is scanning her validated ticket. So here you have to push validate again. And then the code, the QR code will show and you hold it against this. Uh, you can see the blue light. There's only a few of them that has it. Make sure to hold your phone a little crooked on the left side because we have been struggling to scan our ticket. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but holding it a little to the left really helps and it has to be at least five centimeters away from the scanner. You can see this is also where we came out. You have to scan it going into the subway and scan it when you leave the subway station. So remember to have your phone available. You can also buy tickets at a little kiosk uh, or there's machines and places where you can buy like the actual hard copy. We just figured it was easier to have it on our phone because that's what we bring uh, everywhere. And now it's time for us to take the bus. We take the 61 bus. Here you see an overview over when the bus actually arrives. Luckily for us, the bus came right away. Here the bus pops up. We always make sure to stand in front of the door. There's not a lot of seating on the bus. You have to remember to push stop. It tells you the stop that's coming up. 
For us in the beginning, I used just Google Maps so that I have an overview over every stop and when to leave. But obviously now we know where we live and where to get off and on. But make sure to push stop because the bus will just skip your stop if you don't push the stop button. Very short distance between each stop. So I definitely recommend to push the stop button before your stop comes. On the bus, the door is usually open by themselves. I don't think I've ever had to push open. Okay, so I hope this video was a little informative for you guys and helpful. I think if I had a video like this when we first moved to Milan, it would have been really, really helpful for us to understand the public transportation system. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do more videos of how things work in a way because we've got been here for a while now it's been two months and we kind of figure how you know how things work on a daily basis uh which can be very culturally different if you're from for example the northern part of europe it's very different uh compared to here so definitely let me know if you want more explanation videos in a way or how to videos Make sure to like comment obviously i mentioned that and subscribe Right? And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.